Hi, and welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today I'm going to be talking about the second episode of Shadowhunters. Now, I did a reaction slash discussion video for the first episode of Shadowhunters, which I will link in the down bar below. And in the comments of that video, some of you guys asked if I would talk about the second episode, which, sure, I love talking about TV. So I am going to warn you guys in advance that my thoughts on the second episode aren't going to be dramatically different than my thoughts on the first episode. I didn't magically love the second episode after not really liking the first one, so I would get into my thoughts on the episode. They're pretty critical. So my first kind of point with the second episode was that the dialogue and the effects were still cheesy. As I mentioned in the first video, I'm involved in film and film production, so bad effects bother me probably more than most people, but I thought they were about the same as they were in the first episode. And my problem was that I still thought that the dialogue was really, really cheesy. There were a lot of lines that were supposed to be funny, and I didn't really find them entertaining. And I felt like they were delivered in just a very like fast way, and they weren't really true to character. And I felt like my main issue with this episode was that it focused more on plot on exposition than it did on actually moving the plot forward. I felt like this entire episode was just more exposition about the world and this was especially true with Clary's conversations with Jace and Simon's Cl conversations with Isabel and I feel like if you have to kind of give away the world through dialogue it just wasn't very well done. It was a lot of, oh, well, what's the rune? I'm glad you asked. Or what's the circle? I'm glad you asked. This is what it is. And I just felt like it wasn't handled very well. It was a lot of just explaining what was going on. And by the time it actually got to furthering the plot along was maybe the last 10 minutes of the episode when they go to see the Silent Brothers. And I just felt like this was another kind of wasted episode. And I know that it's hard to adapt fantasy series, but I feel like this episode and the first episode was just a lot, the first episode was a lot of what's going on, and this one was kind of explaining it. And I just felt like this series is really going to have a hard time with explaining everything that's going on in the world because this world is so complex and I feel like either a lot of things are going to have to change or there's going to be so many episodes that are just burdened with explaining what's going on in the world. Another issue that I had with this episode and kind of the first episode too was that I really am not attached to any of the characters yet. And I know that people will say like how you've read the books and I'm kind of saying this as a TV only perspective. If I hadn't read the books I definitely wouldn't care about any of the characters. And I know that it's only the second episode and it takes a while to love characters but I've, I watch a lot of TV and there are a decent amount of TV shows where by the second or third episode I really do care about the characters. Some of my favorite shows like The 100 and Arrow, by the second or third episode I'm really invested in the characters and their journey and what they're going through and I feel like these characters just aren't very well developed yet. I don't really care about any of them and I feel like the only development that these characters are given so far is that they're shadow hunters, which isn't very well explained and that a lot of their parents are dead and I feel like that doesn't really qualify for good character development. We don't really get to see a lot of what makes the characters who they are yet. I feel like a lot of Jace's sass and sarcastic humor is missing. I feel like Isabel's badassness has been shown a little bit, but not too much. I feel like the only person who really has been shown as the true character they are so far is Simon. He has a lot of witty lines and he's very, what's going on, and Clary, and I feel like that's very him. But I feel like a lot of the characters, yeah, I just am not drawn to them. And I feel like this is going to be my problem with the rest of this season is it's going to be very hard for me to keep watching because I'm not really interested in the characters or their story. And for me personally, that's what I really need to be invested in in order to be invested in a TV show. Now, it is likely that I'm going to keep watching just because I like the books and I do want to see if where this adaptation is going. It is only the second episode. It could get better. I know that a lot of people on social media said that they liked the second episode better than the first. I agree with that, although I didn't think 
it was so much better than the first episode. A lot of people were like, oh, the first one sucked, but the second one, it's all better. And I just don't really agree with that. Although I do feel like the series could go in an interesting direction, but not really a lot has happened so far because they've had to focus on explaining the world. So I'm really interested to see where exactly this is going. And another question of mine is how many episodes this season is, because I know Freeform slash ABC Family likes to have 10 episode seasons. And if so, I feel like there's going to be have to be so much that's going to happen by the end of the first season. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of the second episode. Did you think it was better than the first one? Are you going to keep watching the series? Also, let me know if you guys want to see me doing more episode reviews. I would definitely be happy to do those for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you again soon.